okay hello everyone myself rahul so today we are going to solve a problem related to linked list problem name is add two numbers so let's go through the problem you are given two not empty linked list representing two non negative integers the digits are stored in reverse order all right and each of their nodes contain a single digit add the two numbers and return the sum as a linked list you may assume the two numbers do not contain any leading zeros except the number 0 itself all right so we are given a number represented as a linked list so the number is 2 4 and 3 so um, it is given that the digits are stored in reverse order so so the actual number in this case is 342 which mean, which means 342 is the number but it is represented in the reverse order similarly this is now this is the number 5 6 and 4 so actual number is 465 but it is represented as this so what we have to do is we need to add uh, the uh, basically the digits present at the similar index so 5 and 2 are added as 7 and 6 and 4 are added uh, which results in 10 so we take just zero out of that and one can be carried back to the uh, next uh, indices or the nodes in the linked list so 4 and 3 is 7 so 7 plus 1 which was uh, there from the previous uh, node sum is being taken over here So seven zero eight is the linked list which we have to return, right? A uh, very simple problem. So in this, uh, okay, no other example is given. So I will try to explain this using an another example, a much better one. So let's take a example of a linked list. So let me take five, uh, six, seven, and eight, and the uh, other linked list can be suppose eight, nine, and uh, seven. right it is already given that the value present at a particular node would not be greater than 9 right because it's a single digit uh, each of their nodes contain a single digit so it is already being given in the question so what we have to return over here is we have to just add 5 and 8 which is uh, nothing but 13 so uh, what we basically do in uh, addition operation is th that like whatever the sum we have got we take the modulo of that and the division operator of that so 13 divided by 10 is nothing but 1 so we just uh, take uh, 3 uh, 3 over here and the one can be carried back right so 8 and 5 is 13 so one will be uh, used as a carry which can be used in the another addition operation 9 and 6 is 15 15 plus 1 is 16 so 16 divided by 10 which is 1 so one has to be carried to the next operation so 16 modulo 10 is nothing but 6 so 6 will be used over here so three next pointer will be pointing to 6 and one will be carried back to the uh, next step over here yeah just a second yeah so one will be carried over here and 7 plus 7 is 14 So fourteen plus one is fifteen. One is from the carry. So we take fifteen and fifteen modulo ten is nothing but five. So we take five over here and one can be again carried back to the next steps. So eight plus one is nine and there is nothing left in this second list link list. So I can just consider nine over here by doing eight plus one. Right. So this is the link list I have to return. So very simple problem. Like we can directly create a new link list. so one of the first approach can be like we are given two linked list so let me again write this 5 6 7 8 and the other linked list can be 8 9 and 7 so this h1 is the head one of the linked list and h2 is the head of the second linked list so what i can do is i can create a new linked list altogether in which i will be taking the value present at the h1 plus value present at h2 plus whatever the carry is so i can create one variable called c which is denoting what is the current value of the carry flag so it can either be 0 or 1 so i will be initializing it with, with value 0 and this value uh, and the new linked list node will be created with the value of this particular x so this x will be put over here right so suppose it will be initially will, will be 5 plus 8 Plus carry carry is zero, so eight five plus eight is thirteen, and what I this is value is x. So what I need to do over here is I need to take x modulo ten. 
so whatever the value that comes out i need to put inside this particular node so x modulo 10 is nothing but 3 in this case so i will put 3 in the new node that i am creating and also i will be calculating x divided by 10 which is 13 divided by 10 is 1 point something so if i am uh, type casting it to integer that means i am taking the floor value of that so it comes out to be 1 only so my carry flag instead of 0 would be updated as 1 now what i need to do is i need to update my h1 pointer 2 point to the next node of this linked list and h2 to the next node of this so h1 is pointing to 6 and h2 is pointing to 9 so 9 plus 6 plus carry so carry flag has been updated as 1 so 9 plus 6 is 15 plus 1 is 16 so i need to do two steps over here 16 modulo 10 and 16 divided by 10 16 modulo 10 is 6 and 16 divided by 10 is uh, 1 right so modulo whatever the value i get by modulo i can put it over here and whatever the value i get by division operator i can use that value uh, to update my carry flag so carry flag would be again updated as one so using this like i can create my new linked list altogether by keeping account of the carry and creating a new linked list a new node at every step until i reach the end of the uh, linked list right so in this approach uh, i am creating a new linked list altogether so suppose the uh, first linked list size is n and the second linked list size is m so the time complexity would be o of n plus m because I need to iterate over this linked list completely and this linked list completely. So time complexity is O of n plus m, but the space complexity is O of n plus m itself because, uh, sorry, it will be the maximum of n comma m. Right. So whatever the maximum of n and m is, whichever of these linked lists has the maximum size or the length, that will be the size of my new linked list and it can be plus one as well because uh, i can i may need to create a new node in the end yeah i will cover that test case in the end so uh, the time complexity for this approach is fine like we are just iterating over this linked list only once but can we somehow use the existing linked list to save on the space part so let's see how we can uh, achieve that yeah so uh, i will take one example suppose let's take this example only five six seven and uh, eight and nine this is h1 is pointing over here and h2 can point to uh, suppose um, six nine eight yeah let's suppose this is the second linked list h2 right so i need to uh, sum the corresponding values present at h1 and h2 so what I can do is I can use this existing linked list. Suppose I'm using the linked list H2 to maintain the sum as well. Right. So I will be updating the values present at these particular nodes. So 5 plus 6 is 7, uh, 13. So I can update this 6 value from currently 6 to 3. Right. And my H2 pointer can point to next node. Similarly, I can and H1 will be also be updated from 5 to 6 so i will be now summing 6 plus 9 which is 15 plus 1 carry flag which was obtained from the previous step which is 16 so 16 modulo 10 is 6 so i can update this 9 to 6 and similarly carry flag can be 1 as well now i can move my h1 pointer to here and h2 over here now 7 plus 8 is 15 15 modulo 10 is uh, 5 so i can update this 8 value from 8 to 5 and carry value would be 1 now h2 moves here and h1 moves over here so i can i can see over here that h2 has become null because there is no node present over here right but h1 is not null so what i need to do is i while doing the sum i can check whether h2 has become null during my iteration of the linked list if h2 has become null then i need to point my last visited node to this right so my linked list looks like something like this 3 is pointing to 9, 6 6 is pointing to 5 and 5 will be pointing to this particular 8 and 8 will point to this particular 9 right so in this linked list now uh, i have just a single value 8 over here so 8 plus 1 
which was from the carry flag from the previous step which is 9 so I can update this from 8 to 9 and the carry flag would be again become 0 instead of 1 now I just increment h1 because I can't increment h2 in this case because h2 is already null right so whatever the value is present at the h1 node which is 9 plus carry carry is 0 which is 9 so I can update this 9 to 9 itself right so this is the linked list so I can just return this head over here right so it will come out to be 3 6 5 9 and 9 3 6 5 9 and 9 right so as we can see we are not creating any new node in this process we are uh, using the existing linked list and it depends like which head we want to return so I can also modify the h1 linked list or the h2 linked list like it depends on your choice in this case I have taken the I have assumed that I am going to modify my second linked list and if I have reached the end of the second linked list first then I am going to uh, change the next pointer of my second linked list to the first linked list so let's code this problem and I have already uh, written the code for this for the sake of saving time so what I have done is I have created two variables h1 and h2 which are pointing to the head of the linked list right and created two variables ph1 and ph2 ph1 is previous head1 and ph2 is previous head2 so whenever I am incrementing my h1 and h2 I am also maintaining what is the previous node as well I will tell you why I am doing this and I have created one last node so yeah let us come back to this later so one variable called carry has been initialized to 0 which will maintain what is the carry flag from my previous steps so this is the while loop I am doing so while uh, both head1 and head2 are not null then I will be continuing in this while loop and uh, previous will be basically initialized to h1 and h2 and in the end of this while loop h1 will be moving to h1 next and h2 will be moving to h2 next so what I have to do over here is I just need to calculate whatever the value is present at h1 and h2 plus the carry flag as well so that value has been taken in a variable called x and uh, as I mentioned that I will be taking the modulo value uh, to be the value present at that particular node so here I am checking if x by 10 is equal to equal to 0 which means the carry flag has to be 0 which means the value the submission of the values present at, at h1 and h2 is not greater than or equal to 10 right so I am just updating h2 value to be x so as we can see I am not updating the value present at the h1 I am just updating the value present at h2 which is the second linked list so you can also choose the value to be updated in the first linked list in that case instead of h2 value we could have done h1 value but later on the steps would differ right so here I am checking the value is exceeding 10 or not if it is not exceeding then the carry flag would be 0 otherwise the carry flag would be nothing but x by 10 so here I would have directly done 1 but uh, let's keep it uh, x by 10 because uh, if we are adding two single digits so those two single digits can be maximum of 9 and 9 so the carry would not exceed 1 in either cases right so here I am doing this uh, simple basic addition so I will keep on incrementing my h1 and h2 so h2 comes over here mm, one second so h2 comes over here and h1 comes over here right so till this point my this while loop will be executed so suppose my h2 moves to this null this null then I will be exiting this while loop so I will I have written another while loop which is going to take care of the other conditions so this while loop is for a separate scenario uh, let's come back to this if condition first so I am here I am checking if h1 is not null but h2 is null which is happening in this scenario right that h1 is still not null but h2 has become null in that case uh, I am going to iterate over the h1 uh, first linked list right? I don't need to iterate over the second linked list but I need to make this pointer change this this pointer change right so that's what has been done over here that this is the this is where the previous pointer comes into picture so ph2 so whenever my h2 pointer comes over here my ph2 previous pointer would be at this point only so i just need to make the next pointer of ph2 to h1 so it is being done over here and i will keep on incrementing h1 and follow the same procedure that was followed in the earlier while loop 
here the x value the variable x is just the summation of two things h1 value and carry i am not taking the value at present at h2 because it's already null and the same things have been checked over here and h1 has been uh, moved to its next value next node right so this if condition is also covered for this scenario in which i am teaching the last node of second linked list first suppose the linked list is something like 1 2 and 3 and 4 5 6 and 7 so it, in this case h1 will be reaching the end of the linked list first but my h2 will still be uh, present in some of the nodes in one of the nodes right so that's where this second while loop comes into picture right if you go through this code i will paste this code in the id1 link so you can go through that it's a very similar uh, code that was there in the first while loop right so one of the uh, yeah so that's the thing like we are just updating the second linked list with the value present at h1 and h2 plus the carry so basically three uh, additions are being performed one of the edge cases that we need to consider is suppose uh, this is the linked list 9 9 and yeah 9 and 9 so suppose this is the linked list so h1 is over here h2 is over here so 9 and 9 is 18 so I update it from 9 to 8, carry flag is 1, now h2 moves over here, h1 moves over here and h2 over here. So 9 plus 9 is again 18, 18 plus carry flag is 1, 19, so 19 modulo 10 is uh, 9. So I update this value from 9 to 9 only, that's fine. And uh, what is the carry flag? Carry flag will be 19 divided by 10, which is 1. Right, so and my h1 moves over here and h2 moves over here. So both h1 and h2 are null, but my carry flag still has a value 1. So I need to consider that value as well. So that's what I am doing over here. When all the while loops and the if condition have been exited, I have written one condition. If c is still 1, right, so that means I have to create a new node. I have to create a new node. So 8 will be pointing to 9 and 9 has to point to something which is nothing but a new node with a value of 1 because the carry value was 1 only. Right, so uh, I somehow need to maintain this reference as well like this one node I will be creating this new node but how do I attach this one node to the existing linked list? I need to be aware of the node to uh, which, whose next pointer will be pointing to this new node. Right, so that's what this last node variable is taking care of. If you go through the code, you will be able to understand. Right, so in this uh, problem, I have updated the linked list two instead of linked list one to maintain the same uh, submission. So I have to return the header of the second linked list. So in the end, I'm returning L two. Right. So if you are maintaining the submission in the first linked list instead of returning L two, you could have returned L one. So let me run this code. It is fine, and uh, let's submit it. Yeah, memory runtime or both are fine. So as you can see, memory usage is uh, like ninety-seven percent because we are not using any extra space. We are using the existing nodes of the linked list. But if we would have gone via the first approach, the runtime complexity would have remained same, but the memory usage would be uh, drastically reduced because we would be creating a new linked list of uh, size max of n and m right here we are using the same linked list node so that's why the memory usage is at a better level right so i hope the solution is clear and uh, if there are any questions so please do comment and you can go through this code and i hope to like this code can further be simplified as well like instead of writing multiple while loops uh, I could have uh, written that in a much simpler way. If you have a better idea or a better approach than this, I would be uh, happy to hear that. So until next time, uh, take care. Thank you.